All right, here's the problem, guys. Everyone is wasting their time. Everyone is just sitting around doing nothing. How do I know? Because I can see it. The act of doing something inherently requires that something be done. A sort of product or consequence of the doing. But I'm looking around, and I haven't seen anything happen lately. Look at you, watching some stupid YouTube video. You're not going to get any value out of this. You're going to click off of this video feeling just as empty and lost as you were when you clicked on it. I'm just here to help you waste your time because that's all you do and I can prove it with SCIENCE! But Nathaniel, isn't your whole bit that science is bad? Yeah, I have no logical consistency whatsoever. But basically, a bunch of nerds decided to record how the average American spends their time every day. So what I'm going to be doing is cherry picking different numbers from different sets of data and then putting them together in the way that they were never intended to be so that I can present the information in a way that's beneficial to the point that I'm trying to make. So here's what I know about the average American. In their average day, they will spend about eight hours sleeping, about six hours at work, five hours watching TV, five and a half hours on their phone, and on top of all of that, I think it's safe to assume the average person's spending about two to four hours crying, because that's what I... So if we assume the high end of that number for safety reasons and total all of those numbers up, what we find is that the average American in their average 24-hour day wastes about 28 and a half hours, which first off, impressive. Well done. But if we unironically look at those numbers individually, we can unironically see how much time people are wasting, watching, and consuming. There was a fundamental shift that happened to humans somewhere around the time that television became popular, about the 1950s, where we stopped doing things and instead we started watching other people do things. I imagine this process probably started slowly, but now we're at a point where, again, the average American is watching five hours of TV a day. Bro, what exactly are you watching for five hours a day that totals up to be about 77 days in a year? Are you really about to spend 77 days motionless on the couch staring at a screen? How can you feel comfortable with binge watching shows being how you spend your precious free time? I've complained about this before. There's a difference between watching a show and having watching a show be your personality. At some point, again, we stopped identifying ourselves with the things that we do, but rather the products we consume and the things that we watch. Oh, look at me. I watch this show. That's what I do. Hey, look at this product. I drink Fago. That's me. That's my thing. This problem has gotten so bad that when people decide to stop throwing their time into the black hole of mindless watching, they don't know what to do with themselves. In the year 2020, there is somehow demand for life hack websites that will give you a list of possible exciting hobbies you can pick up. Why do you need to be told what kind of hobbies to have? Do you not have interests? Do you not have things that you just want to do? Are you really that boring? Huh, just finished watching every episode of The Office for the fifth time, so the question becomes, do I find another show to just throw my time at, or do I actually go do something? But the problem is, if you spent your entire life consuming and not doing, you don't actually have any interests, so you gotta outsource to some website. Oh, totally take up whittling. It's a useful skill, really. In what context? Like, has there ever been, like, a bomb that's going to blow everything up, but not if someone can whittle a stick into a shape that vaguely resembles a spoon? Or so, there's, there's no context. There's no context. Okay. So maybe, maybe you're figuring out that you've been wasting all of your time. Trust me. I've been there. Let you in on a little secret. Used to play a lot of video games in high school. I actually have 855 hours recorded on a game called Team Fortress 2. 855 hours. Do you know how much time that is? That equates to like 35 days, which is only half as much time the average American spends watching TV every year. And that was over the course of like three years, but the point still stands. Do you know how much could have been accomplished in 35 days? Everyone knows the old saying, Rome was built in a day. But not only was Rome built in a calendar day, it was actually built in a 9 to 5 work day with an hour break for lunch. That's how much shit we used to get done and that's how much shit we could be getting done if we weren't checking our phones every 30 seconds. Five and a half hours on our phones. Why are you even checking it? It's not like anyone's hitting you up anyways. But ask why we can't build another pyramid. They're going to say, oh, they had technology we didn't have. Oh, it was aliens. That is a dirty cope. The reason the Egyptians could build pyramids and we can't because they were jacked and they were focused. They had the same 24-hour day that we do, but they weren't distracted watching e-girls dance. Bro, we used to build pyramids. We used to just stack these massive, perfectly carved rocks on top of each other just to flex. And now we just sit 
and we rot. We used to be at the top of the food chain, unassisted by technology. There were hundreds of large mammal species that went completely extinct. Why? Because we killed them. We killed all of them because we were the best. But honestly, if we ran humans versus mammoths back right now, I'm not too confident team humans, which is why you need to be doing your deadlifts because the rematch is coming. That's all you need to know. Stop wasting your time watching shows on your phone. Maybe go outside instead of living your life vicariously and staring at screens. Well, that was a little gloomy, I suppose. So how about uh, like, comment, subscribe, give me some dopamine, and then go outside. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Bye-bye.